thinking that they're going to stop the sales of petrol and that they've already informed the people in petrol of this. Uh, this story here, supermarket slash petrol by up to 12p a litre, the biggest single cut on petrol uh, on record as savings are finally passed on to drivers a fortnight after the oil crash. Well, they buy these things months in advance, so it would take more than a fortnight, and it usually does take more than a fortnight. So that story itself doesn't add up. It looks to me here like they're getting rid of the stocks, ready to close down. Um, it would make no sense at a time when everybody's self-isolating and only essential people are allowed to travel, that they would slash the price of petrol. If anything, you'd think they'd put it up. They've certainly put other prices in the supermarket up. We was in Asda earlier on in the week, and the prices were horrendous, absolutely horrendous. Um, Asda is really expensive, actually. If you shop there, I suggest you switch to Morrison's. It's a lot cheaper and stuff that you do buy that you can actually get from shops like Wilco's a lot cheaper I mean cat, cat litter for one it's three pound a bag cheaper in Wilco's than Morrison's and as does a pound dearer than Morrison's up with it so <clears throat> you know shelves are stocking up again you've got your choice back of where to go look at the prices because we're all going to be so fucking skint over these next few months but this cutting of the price of petrol, I can just see that they're running the stocks down there to uh, to not have it sat around because, of course, fuel goes off after a certain time. This is going to go on for months. And I do wonder if there's some kind of ulterior motive to this. Are they just introducing all these new laws in place to stop when the public finally do rise up against the governments and the elites and all these things we've been talking about for years where everything's been done wrong, all these child abuse rings that have been covered up over the years. Um, it's all started to come to light in the last year and a half, year or so to the point where the public are sort of thinking now, you know, this isn't right. The, the way the world's run isn't right. And a lot of people are questioning it. A lot of people waking up and then this happens. I don't think this is the final event. I think this is being run as a big test. But I also think it's, it's the first run to get laws put in place like all these laws they're passing through parliament now they already had in place i think it was back in 1984 that they brought in some legislation uh, regarding pandemics so everything they're putting through now was already there in law they just had to activate it and they're not they're writing new laws and the difference between the laws that were in place already and these is there's no checks or balances here there's no <clears throat> like with, with the original sort of laws that were put in everything had to go through parliament still um the, the government could introduce it immediately but then within i think it was five days parliament could call the government to back to parliament and say you know we're not happy with this, we want a review, and then it would go to a vote. So there was ways of stopping all the stuff after shortly after it was implemented, so it would be there for a few days or whatever, but it could be recalled. That's all being taken away with these new laws. They're making it look at the moment like people have got a say, like the other politicians there have got a say. With, with these new laws, or they don't, 
Um, Parliament is now going into recess. Now, I'm sorry, but if there's a national crisis and a pandemic on, why would Parliament go into recess? It wouldn't during war, and it's brought in measures harsher than it ever did during the First or Second World Wars. So, there's a lot wrong here. There's a lot wrong. As I say, I don't think this is the be-all and end-all event. I don't think this is it. This is just putting everything in place. It's a test to see how far they can push people. There's going to be a bigger event than this. And I think it'll be African swine flu. Good luck, everyone. Stay safe. And apparently, stay at home. That's great, it starts with an earthquake Birds and snakes in an aeroplane Lenny Bruce is not afraid I have a hurricane, listen to yourself churn Work such as own needs, don't be some of your own needs Speed it up a knock, speed grunt, no strength No ladder, touch a clatter with a fear of height Down height, wire in a fire, represent the seven games In the government for hire in a combat site Lift the wasn't coming in a hurry With the furious breathing down your neck Team by team reporters, baffle Trump to the crop Feel fine.